Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Carly. And I'm Ange. And today we're watching Demon Slayer episode 19. I've heard this is a great episode. Me too. Not just great, like really great. So I'm excited to get into it. I'm assuming that it's probably the battle against this kid, Demon. Yeah, the web slicer guy. Yeah, the web slicer, because the episode ended on a cliffhanger. Massive so, cliffhanger. Yeah, what did Tanjiro get his face sliced off or something? <laughs> I hope not. You know, I was kind of thinking this off camera. He's got a really hard head. Remember that. Maybe you can't slice his head. That's true. You know, they've made a big deal about that, him having a really, really hard head. Okay, but also he can, like, you know, twirl around and dodge stuff pretty well also. Yeah, but they made the sound effect, but that's probably just for suspense purposes. Suspense purposes, yes. But I just wanted to clarify a little bit of confusion, right? So back when we first met this spider demon family, episode 15 maybe it was, when this kid, I don't think we know his name, when we first met him and he was like on the thread, on the web, yep. he kind of like looked up and his eyes looked different than the other family members. I know where this is going. <laughs> so I'm thinking that he was one of the 12 because he looked similar to the bongo demon that kind of had like, what's the part outside your pupil? The white part. Oh, I don't know. There's the iris. Yeah, I don't know the specific name, but it, essentially it was red. And then he had like a blue iris. Mm -hmm. No, pupil. Yes. And some dots. And, and like lines connecting or whatever. Yeah, some something like that. So I was convinced that he was the member of the Kazuki, or one of, because it looked similar to the Bongo demon who had it like crossed out. Yeah. And then looking at the other family members, they didn't have the same looking eyes, except I think one of the kids did the um, the spider demon that Zenitsu fought. Yeah, the literal spider demon. <laughs> That's right. So I think he had similar looking eyes too, but I've kind of ruined the whole reveal that this kid is likely the member of the 12 Kazuki because the other family members have been defeated. Because I kind of like ruined that for myself by being unaware that he wasn't one of them earlier on. Wait, so you thought that he was one? I was convinced because I thought he saw the number because his eyes looked similar to the bongo demon. And now we know he's in fact not, but somehow he is. <laughs> no, I think he is because... How? We would see it. No, but Daddy Demon, Yeah. Tanjiro said, yeah, he's one of the 12 Kazuki, but he's not. It was revealed that he's not because he died. Mm. Who's left? Is it possible that none of them are and we just haven't seen? No, but there are the five members of the family and they said that one member is from the Kazuki. Right. It's going to be the kid. So, like, without seeing a spoiler, I've kind of almost ruined the reveal itself. Oh, <laughs> okay. Just by, like, not remembering back to when we first saw their eyes. Mm. I'm not sure why their eyes all looked d different in a way. I should have paid more attention. But essentially... I'm curious to see what this kid can do. He's got his webs. We've had a pretty good preview to what he can do. Yeah. And he's big into this family business. He seems to get insulted with talk of what real bonds are and... Forged bonds. Yeah, and families. So I'm going to assume that this battle is Tanjiro versus this dude. Okay. If Tanjiro is still in one piece. I assume he will be because he he's... He better be. You know, he's the main character. Also, maybe this episode, Giyu's going to help Tanjiro as well. Yeah. And... Shinobu. Shinobu's going to help Zenitsu. That's what I'm hoping to see from this episode. I want Shinobu and Zenitsu to come in full force as well. That would be so epic. Everyone should just help. Yeah. But we've seen how strong Giyu is. Very strong dude. Yeah, so maybe like he'll have to be kept busy elsewhere so he can't just like wipe out the, the final boss. Well, we don't know how strong this dude is. Mm, that's true. Judging by how scared the mum was, he probably is really, really strong. Mm, and the sister. Yeah, they're all scared of him. Is that why maybe the daddy demon got really mad with the wife? Because he was scared of his son? Is there a connection there? I don't know. I think they all sort of answer to him somewhat. Okay. But anyway, we just wanted to say a massive thank you to all of our Patreon members. And if you guys are interested in early access and full-length reactions to these Demon Slayer episodes, make sure to check out our Patreon down below. But anyway, should we get into it? Let's get into it. Okay, straight into it. Oh! Okay. Oh! 
And now he's got no sword. What is supposed to do? I appreciate how we're straight into it, but now I'm stressed. This kid is 100%, one of the 12. It'd be behind his other eye that he hasn't shown anyone yet. Ah. Oh. Behind the the hair. The his, spider hair. The spider hair. Okay. <laughs> Tofu. <laughs> <laughs> he has a sick sword as well. He does. <laughs> what? <laughs> Mismatched Howry. <laughs> he needed to be told. Yeah, that's a bit harsh. Yeah. <laughs> he was about to kill you. Oh. He's protecting him. He knows this is the right move here because he's going to get himself killed at this rate. He's so cool, damn it. Geyu's fast as man. He's barely breathing. No. Yep. Oh, thank goodness. The elixir, the antidote. Ah. Oh, dang. Yeah, all those little head spiders. Oh, the other demon slayers. Mm, is there enough antidote for them? I'm not sure, but he saved a lot of people. Does he just like order a new sword or what's the deal? Well, he doesn't have time to do that. No, I know, but like, I'm sure they'll provide. Yeah, I'm sure they'll provide him with another one if he gets out of this. Mm. Oh gosh! What the heck is he gonna do without a sword? He has to stall them till daytime. Oh, he's still pissed off about the forged bond thing. Oh. Oh my gosh! No. No, what's just happened? No! Let's go! Remember, the only way she can die is the Nichiren blade. Oh yeah! I didn't even have time to react. I was looking for a death wound. See, this is how siblings are. Oh my gosh! She can't. She's got no energy. What the heck? Yeah. Ah, so he's really intrigued by a genuine bond. Okay. Okay. Dude. Probably thinking, why can't she be more like Nezko? And I don't blame him. Oh, so he's not actually related to any of them. This is, this is his make-believe family. I mean, you've just cut her head off. Oh, what the heck? 
Oh, yeah. Oh, Nezco, look at her. She'll have time to heal if they chat. <laughs> You've lost the plot, mate. He's never gonna do that. There's no way. You can't just force that kind of thing. That's... That's horrible. He should listen to that. Whoop his ass. Oh my gosh. Did you see? <laughs> Lower five. What okay. What number though? Lower five. It's the second last. Oh, it's, okay. Right. Oh, was that his elder brother? Yeah, I thought he was younger too. Dude, this guy has some interesting philosophies. He can't just give everyone roles. Oh, this is so soothing. What's he done? No! Dude, I hate this guy! <laughs> no, no, I can't, I can't! No. Angelo. I hate this guy. He thinks he's the threaded. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! No! <sighs> Tanjiro's got to try and leave his emotion out of this to win. She's in pain. Now he's ruined his kimono. I'm not sure how he's going to be able to chop off his head. He needs help. Oh, dude, I'm so. St yeah. Even stronger than his bloody daddy huntsman's neck. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's just great. He slashed a boulder, don't forget Angelo. Tanjiro did that. That's true. Dude, he's the second, second weakest as well. I don't like that! Come on, Tanjiro. She turned her into one of those Italian salamis. You know the one that they hang up to dry for a long time? Yeah. She's, she's getting her power back? She's healing. Oh, the final form. This is what he teased, but we never saw it. Okay. Go, go, go! Oh! <laughs> Was that a dragon? <laughs> Dude, that is mint! Oh. Oh. Cutting cage. Sayonara. No, no. 
This is blood demon art. Protect him, dragon! The dragon's not real. <laughs> no, no, no. What's going on? Is that like a character mosaic? Oh, shit. Here we go. Remembering all the good times. His life is flashing before his eyes. Is that his dad? Mm. Oh, looks just like him. It is. He's got the hottest voice, Angelo. <laughs> A Hinokami? What is that? What the heck? Oh, wow. It works with fire. So he actually knows a different breathing technique. Tanjiro, Kono Kamura to Mini Kazari Dakewa Kanarazu, Tomire Sasezu Kesho Stay Tigre. The music. <laughs> oh. Him now. Dude, look at his sword! I can't believe the fire! <laughs> I can't believe it! <laughs> Dude, look at this! Oh, wow! <laughs> oh my gosh. Lower five's got no hope now. <laughs> oh, he's going to get hurt as well. Is it her mom? Oh no. Oh. Dude. The, oh, oh, the, she got it too. The bloody music. Wait. What? Exploding blood! <laughs> Get your ass whooped! <laughs> oh my I, god! At least you can see what a true bond is now. This yes. is a true bond. <laughs> oh no, no tunge at all. Oh my gosh, man, this is crazy! We're meant to watch this. <sighs> We're meant to watch through this. <laughs> <laughs> oh. So we got a flashback with the dad. He taught him, like, the fire breathing. Yeah. That's crazy. That was amazing. This is adorable. どうしてあの時日の神神楽のことを思い出したんだろう。ありがとう、父さん。うん。ああ。浜時に関する大将こそこそ噂話。All <笑> <laughs> yeah, you did. Well done. <laughs> I absolutely love that. I think the best part about the whole episode was you see, like, this whole arc has been, what, four or five episodes so far of, like, a dysfunctional family. Yeah. Like a forged bond. Yeah. And then you kind of see what the real bond is there. And it ends up being victorious. Yeah. And it's a lesson for this kid 
which we've kind of seen with the other demons, you know, just before their demise, they kind of learn something or realize something. Mm. Or have some sort of closure. Yeah. And now he's been made to witness, like, a true bond, a true family bond. Unbelievable. I did not expect the father to have, like, involvement in defeating this demon at all. Yeah, that's so beautiful. He helped him. And Nezuko's mum as well. Yeah. All the emotions that episode. Yeah, I think it was lovely how, like, the member of the Kazuki kind of said everyone has their roles. And his idea of that was just completely wrong. It's kind of like it was showing how everyone in the family should protect everyone in the family. Like, everyone in the family is meant to look out for each other. So you kind of saw it with Tanjiro's two parents, you know, Nezuko as well. But it has me, like, asking a few questions about his dad still. Yeah. Very intrigued by his dad. Hmm. Because he was... I mean, you asked before, how do you think he, he died? And you could see at the end he was really frail and everything. Yeah, he was sick. Yeah, which is very, very sad. Um, but maybe... His sickness took him away. Right. Because he seemed very young. Yeah. Yeah. So I guess the fire breathing that his dad taught Tanjiro, I guess, helped him live a lot or a little longer. Maybe, yeah. Yeah. Maybe now we realize why Muzan was scared of the earrings. Yes. He recognized them. Yeah. So he's probably run into an ancestor of Tanjiro's family. In the past, with the fire breathing technique and how OP it looks. So OP. That it was animated brilliantly. Oh my god! The running shots. I think there was a point where I just like I like could not say anything. I was like, <laughs> Yeah, I didn't say much either. My mouth was kind of just open the whole time. Yes, the running shots. Yeah. Mmm. So good. And I like how we had no idea of fire breathing. No. Or Tanjiro's dad. We didn't know anything about any of that. And although they um, introduced that part of the story so, like, recent, just now, it still was so special. Yeah. Like, that was really, really amazing how they did that. Well, it made perfect sense to introduce it in an arc where the whole thing is about, like, family. Yeah. Yeah, I love that. And, like, think about it as well. The way... They merged the dragon 10th form, the water breathing. I mean, a dragon breathes fire. It made sense to then, you know, like, <laughs> transition that into a flaming dragon. My gosh. And I, we called for it in, I don't know which episode it was, maybe one or two episodes ago. We wanted to see Nezuko come out. And she came in with the fire, literally. Oh, like, she really did, yes. She had her own move at the end there. Yeah, what was it? Blood explosion or something? Yeah, something like that. Amazing. So good. I can't see my girl like that again, though. No, that was tough to watch. Giyu didn't even need to do anything. Which no. Sti- which still has me a little bit curious as to what Giyu can, can do, because we haven't really seen him at full power. He's probably more of like a an upper six sort of guy, you know? Okay. Lower six is like, oh, whatever for him. So, so what was this one? Lower five. Lower five. So I'm pretty sure there's like the upper and the lower moons Mm -hmm. and it starts from six being the lowest in that moon to to one. So lower six is the lowest, lower five, which is what that dude was. Okay. Second lowest all the way to, you know, four, three, two, one. Mm -hmm. And then the same for the upper moons. Six is the lowest upper to one, which is the highest. Have I got that right? Okay. So that means there's someone weaker than the kid. Yeah. I wonder when we're going to meet them. I would have thought that it was going to go in order. Yeah. Maybe it'll be down to like one of the less capable fighters. Or maybe we've already seen him and they're just waiting to replace. Like maybe it was Rockstar Demon or something. No, because he got... Yeah, and he got booted out. Oh, okay. So maybe they just... Like Muzan hasn't replaced him or something yet. Oh, right. I don't know. The music that accompanied the climax of the scene... Like the family music and then brought into the <laughs> the in, defeating scene. Into the battle. Massive. The family are so sweet. Mm. And they sort of like mirrored Tanjiro's family 
with the demon spider family. Yeah. Like, I'm pretty sure there was, like, a similar amount of members as well. I think... Mum, dad. Yeah. Tanjiro had extra siblings. One extra brother, I think. Yeah. So you have two brothers. Yeah. But um, it's sort of the same now. Like, with Tanjiro, he's sort of, like, the leader of his family now because, you know, they all passed. And it was the same with that kid. He was trying to be (laughs) the alpha, but it was completely just reversed. Well, he stole those siblings of his. They weren't his family. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. That was the way he was, like, talking about them. Okay. Um, oh, yeah, like about replacing and stuff. You can't replace yeah, family. <laughs> he wanted a family, and his idea of family was stealing people to fill roles. Mm. It's like he liked the idea of having a family, but... He doesn't know love. Yeah. We're probably going to get that next episode. Mm. Like his head has been sliced off by the looks of things. Oh, we'll get the little monologue. Correct. Yes. We'll get his backstory. Maybe his name, because I don't think we saw his name. I'm going to guess that he lost his family early as a child. Then, I don't know, Muzan approached him. Then I guess he wanted to use his power to create himself a, a family. But rather than treat them properly, he treated them like crap. Mm-hmm. And then never knew what a proper bond was. It'll probably be something along those lines when we get that flashback next episode, which I'm assuming we're going to get. Yeah. So his blood demon arc was like trapping using the threads as a cage. That's horrible. I'd hate to see that actually work on someone. It'd like ultimately turn them into mincemate. I actually wanted to ask, Nezuko's move, was that her blood demon art? Did she just figure it out? <laughs> yeah, it must be. But mixed with the the family fire breathing, no? Yeah, so we just went back and had a look. It, it was her blood demon art. She says that. Exploding blood. And I don't know, is it only her blood that she can do that with? Or just blood that's in the area? Let's just say it's her own blood. She kind of like controls it and turns it into an explosive. Mm, yeah. That's crazy. That is crazy. So so does that mean like when she does get hurt, she can use that to her advantage? Yes. If she's got the energy to do so. Right. I'm trying to work out whether like whether or not that links into the fact that she sleeps a lot and hasn't eaten anyone. I'm trying to link it back to that somehow, but I can't work anything out. That's cool. Now we know her blood demon art too. When Lola 5 made like all his webs red, I'm like, no. Nah. It's all over. <laughs> and then she just came in with the counter attack. Yeah. I thought Tanjiro was Dungeon for sure. <laughs> yeah. Things were looking dicey there for a second. Oh, man. Mm. Okay. So now I'm wondering whether or not Tanjiro can only kind of bring on that fire breathing in specific moments. Or now that he's done it once, he kind of has the recollection of doing that just the once and mm. he can do it more now. Cause that would be so cool if he can just do multiple. Yeah. Multiple breathing forms. Yeah. Depending on the, the circumstance, just whip out the fire dragon here, the water wheel there. <laughs> Is that why he's got the red eyes as well? Ah, oh. to represent fire. Okay. I was trying to also think back to the black sword. Oh, well, they expected him to have a red sword. So maybe Rukodaki knew about his family's history with the fire magic, the fire breathing. Of course. Okay. You think? I'm not sure, but that kind of makes sense now. Mm. Yeah, why they expected his sword to be red. Maybe it's black because he knows more than one or something. Maybe. But are the swords linked to the water breathing? Um, Like the look of the swords? Well, Zenitsu's one is. And Giyu seems to be as well. Yeah, it's like it had the blue. It had the water on it. Mm. Okay. Inosuke's... What's his? It's beast breathing. Okay, and he's sort of like got sharp teeth, like his yeah. sword. So, yeah, it's... Yeah, they are linked. I'm sure you guys will clarify all the things that we got wrong and right in this discussion. But, I mean, that's probably my favorite episode so far, comfortably. 100%, comfortably yeah. for me as well. <laughs> yeah, followed by the Zenitsu episodes, I think. Yep. Yeah, that was just amazing. Yeah. Like, every second of it was just... So good. Different emotion. But it had, a, like, one clear message all the way through, which I really liked. I like all the family themes mm. and stuff in shows, too. Yeah, I really liked that theme. Yeah. What was your favourite moment in the episode? 
Well, the animated scene where Tanjiro went on the offensive and the kid was kind of backing up through the yes. forest. And then right at the end, um, I mean, Nezuko coming to help with the explosion, the explosive blood. Mm. And then after Tanjiro cut off the dude's head, you had that like really cool looking yes. red circle. It was like a wheel. Yeah, that was so good. That was probably my favorite too, but one... Other one I really liked was when he was in like the the cave thing and he was seeing the mosaics. Oh yeah. And um the dragon turned into fire. Oh yeah, of course. <laughs> when the dragon turned into fire, that was I was like, Are you kidding me right now? Like we saw like red coming in and I was like, No. Yeah. <laughs> I did not expect that. I don't know why we never theorized about that with the red eyes. Yeah, it's far-fetched. What were we going to say? Oh, I bet Tanjiro has fire-breathing magic. Everyone would have been like, spoilers. <laughs> You've had spoilers. Well, the mosaic, now that you bring it up, was that kind of his memories just scattered everywhere and he was he was searching oh, for that? Oh, you know, it was probably his life flashing before his eyes. Okay. Like that's what Shinobu was just saying to Zenitsu. Of course. Yeah. Yeah. And he drew upon that one memory that was going to help him. Mm. Yeah, that was brilliant. Wow. I'll definitely end up watching that episode again, I think. That's 100% a rewatch episode like 10 times. Thank you so much for watching our reaction. If you liked it, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe. It would really help us out. Early access to all of our reactions. You can support us on Patreon if you'd like. And yeah, thank you so much again. We'll see you in the next one. Bye.